When the scope is positioned in distal part of duodenum near the ampulla, the superior mesenteric vein and superior mesenteric artery are seen on the left side of the screen at the 3 and 5 o'clock positions. The pancreas is seen as a crescent-shaped structure at the 6 o'clock position with the presence of an ascaris in pancreatic duct. The aorta and inferior vena cava are seen on the right side of the screen at 7 and 11 o'clock positions. The hyperechoic double-line shadow of ascaris with a lumen can be clearly seen moving in and out of ampulla just adjacent to the ultrasound probe. When the scope is pulled above the ampulla, the hyperechoic double-line shadow of ascaris in pancreatic duct runs parallel to the ultrasound probe in the head of the pancreas. As the scope is pulled towards the duodenal bulb, the shadow is seen turning in the neck of pancreas. As the scope is pulled further back into stomach, the hyperechoic shadow is followed all the way across the body up to the tail of pancreas. When the ultrasound probe is placed in the stomach, the ascaris is seen in the pancreatic duct. No peripancreatic inflammation is seen during this examination. The hyperechoic lines represent the wall of ascaris and the anechoic area between the hyperechoic lines represents the lumen of ascaris. Clockwise and anticlockwise torque over the pancreas can follow the course of ascaris. In this case, the ascaris is thus traced all the way from just outside the ampulla to the tail of the pancreas. An ascaris is seen going through the ampulla. The ascaris is caught by a rat tooth forceps and gently pushed first into distal part of duodenum to remove it completely from inside the pancreatic duct. Once the ascaris is completely out of the ampulla in the duodenum, the removal of ascaris can be done.